Hello everyone and welcome to Travel the Globe, the channel for travel connoisseurs, explorers, and for those with a knack for adventure. Asia is the world's largest continent, extending from the Mediterranean Sea to the Pacific Ocean. Epic mountain ranges like the Himalayas and the arid, dismal Arabian and Gobi deserts are all part of its immense land mass. Southeast Asia is also home to steamy rainforests, as well as idyllic islands and stunning beaches. Thus, if you're having an Asian travel escapade, look no further and watch this video till the end so you can start planning your next Asian adventure. We're starting off with the Maldives at number 15. The Maldives, a chain of around 1,200 islands and atolls, is home to some of the most beautiful and greatest beaches in the world. The Posh Resort, which is tucked away in the Indian Ocean, is well known for its opulent properties, many of which have their own private island. The Maldives are well known for its underwater riches, despite the fact that each lovely island in the archipelago seems to be more beautiful than the last. Due to the abundance of vibrant coral reefs and shimmering shoals of fish, it is an excellent location for snorkeling and scuba diving. Oman is number 14. Everywhere you look, the Sultanate of Oman's distinctive culture is evident, and a large part of what makes the nation so endearing is the proud sense of identity and friendliness of its people. Oman has not significantly updated or built any skyscrapers, in contrast to several of its neighbors. This indicates that its oasis villages in the desert still have beautiful historic architecture, and their skylines have not changed throughout the years. The country's barren landscapes are just as tempting as its souks and medinas in terms of their beauty. Oman is a hidden gem just waiting to be discovered. It is home to magnificent mountains, a stunning coastline, and numerous picturesque sand dunes. Cambodia is number 13. Between Thailand, Laos, and Vietnam, Cambodia is tucked away but is home to a staggering number of historical ruins and archaeological monuments. This is due to the impressive temples, palaces, and monuments that the Great Khmer Empire erected throughout the nation between the 9th and 15th centuries. Undoubtedly, the most impressive of these buildings is the magnificent Angkor Wat, along with the capital Phnom Penh and the thriving cities of Siem Reap, Cambodia is also home to a lot of beautiful, natural beauty. Cambodia offers something for everyone to enjoy, including beautiful paddy fields, mountains covered in jungle, and wonderful tropical islands. For number 12, we got Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka, located in the Indian Ocean just south of India, is a rapidly growing tourism destination. While the island's stunning beaches are one of its main draws, you can also explore its rich history and culture. Sri Lanka has a wealth of magnificent archaeological sites and historic places to see, given that its history spans over 2,500 years. Many of these, which range from historic forts to ancient temples, may be found in the fascinating cities of Gale and Kandy. Sri Lanka also offers breathtaking natural beauty and amazing fauna for you to enjoy. Number 11 is Malaysia. This amazing nation, which consists of Peninsular Malaysia and East Malaysia, is home to some of the oldest jungle in the world. Along with the breathtaking scenery and fauna, its national parks also offers great trekking opportunities. Chinese, Indians, and ethnic Malay people live in Malaysia's bustling cities and capital, Kuala Lumpur, which are quite multicultural and diversified. Impressive historic sites may be found among the contemporary skyscrapers, and the city's restaurants provide a wide variety of delectable regional dishes. The highlight of any trip to Malaysia, where you may find picturesque islands and immaculate beaches, is definitely getting to see an orangutan up close and in its native habitat. For number 10, Nepal. Nepal is a breathtakingly gorgeous nation with some of the best hiking and mountaineering in the entire globe. The mountainous nation is home to many of the highest peaks on Earth and is dominated and defined by the Himalayas. 
The highest of these is Mount Everest, which dominates them all. Even though the Annapura circuit is popular among hikers, Nepal also has a thriving cultural legacy. The nation is dotted with ancient temples, shrines, monasteries, and palaces. Around 2,500 years ago, the Buddha was born in this location. The capital of Nepal, Kathmandu, is a must-see because of its numerous religious attractions and is known as the City of Temples. Number 9. We have Vietnam Vietnam is one of Asia's most rewarding travel destinations because of its rich history and natural beauty. The nation contains many diverse landscapes and its picture-perfect coastline hugs the South China Sea. The Ho Chi Minh Trail is frequently explored by tourists who rent motorcycles. This guides you to pass the historic capital of Hue as you go from the vibrant yet chaotic capital Hanoi to Ho Chi Minh City. Ha Long Bay, with its gorgeous seascape and breathtaking limestone islets, is another must-see location. The charming coastal town of Hoi An is also well worth visiting, and the hill tribes around Sapa offers a glimpse of the country's ethnic and cultural diversity. Jordan is number 8. Jordan in the Middle East always has embraced tourists and traders due to its advantageous location between Africa, Europe, and Asia. Armies moved there as well, and over the centuries, kings and empires left behind Petra, as well as crusader castles and Roman amphitheaters. This majestic ancient city is undoubtedly unlike anything you've ever seen. It is without a doubt the centerpiece of every trip to the nation, set in the middle of the desert and carved out of rock. Although Petra is undoubtedly the major draw, it is also worthwhile to see the Dead Sea and the arid landscapes of Wadi Rum. Pretty solid travel pick so far, and we're only halfway through the list. Do you have any Asian travel plans yet? Share them with us in the comments below. If you're liking this video, be sure to hit the like button. This will help support the channel and will boost the video to other travel enthusiasts. And now, back to our list. Number 7 is South Korea. South Korean culture, which gave the world K-pop and kimchi, is today immensely popular. This is a significant shift for China, as much for its own history, its larger and more powerful neighbors, Japan and China, have overshadowed and undervalued it. The nation's rich and distinctive history and culture is what makes exploring the peninsula so fascinating. Because it has quickly modernized, skyscrapers and enormous commercial malls can be seen beside age-old palaces and temples. South Korea is deceptively mountainous, but it also boasts several wonderful national parks that you may visit, along with stunning islands and beaches that hug the coastline. For number 6, we have Indonesia. Indonesia is a large country, spanning 4,700 kilometers from east to west and more than 18,000 islands. The archipelago defines categorization in many ways. For instance, its tiny, isolated, peaceful communities stand in sharp contrast to Jakarta's crowded, disorderly city. The habits, traditions, and cuisine of this one of the most populous countries in the world vary greatly depending on the location. Its island's environments are just as diverse while being sandwiched between the Pacific and Indian Oceans. Beautiful beaches may be found in Bali, but Borneo boasts amazing wildlife and majestic orangutans. The Emerald of the Equator is deserving of a visit because there is so much to see and do there. The Philippines is number 5. It should not be surprising to find that the Philippines is a very well-liked beach vacation location given that it is made up of over 7,000 different islands. Its inviting waters make for outstanding snorkeling, scuba diving, and surfing, with North Palawan and Boracay being two of the best locations for these water sports. Some islands have dense tropical rainforests or rice paddies covering them, while others have hidden lagoons and erupting volcanoes. You can discover chaotic yet vibrant cities scattered throughout its diverse landscapes, including the capital, Manila. 
Traveling around the country, you'll observe traditional Spanish, American, and other cultural influences, among others. Number 4 is India India is teeming with various cultures, faiths, peoples, and traditions as it is home to one of the oldest and wealthiest civilizations in the world. Its diversity is what makes exploring it so captivating. While the Himalayas dominate the country's north, the remainder of it is home to sweltering jungle, charming tea plantations, and stunning beaches. Ancient sites and vibrant yet turbulent cities like Mumbai and New Delhi are tucked away among these diverse landscapes. The country with the second highest population in the world has something to offer everyone, from nature to history to gastronomy. The only issue is knowing where to start. Third on our list is Japan. Although Japan is made up of approximately 7,000 islands, its top tourist destinations are concentrated on its four major islands. The island nation, which is east of Asia's main landmass, is a fascinating place where the old and new country meet. Kyoto and Nara instead boast antique palaces and antiquated temples, in contrast to the temporary metropolises of Tokyo and Yokohama which are packed with skyscrapers and neon lights. The nation, which is covered in mountains and forests, is also home to some beautiful scenery and fauna. This explains why the vast bulk of its sizable population is concentrated in the cities that tightly cling to its long, irregular shoreline. Coming in second is China. China is the largest and most populous country in Asia and is home to one of human history's most ancient civilizations. As a result, everywhere you go, amazing historical and cultural landmarks are on display. Although the Great Wall of China is undoubtedly its most notable landmark, the Terracotta Army in Xi'an and the Forbidden City in Beijing also draw large crowds of tourists. Others travel to China to take in its breathtaking environment which includes the Gobi Desert, countless rice terraces, and towering mountains. China, the most populated country on Earth, has numerous fascinating cities that are quickly modernizing. It would take a lifetime to explore China, a continent-sized nation with all of its cities and traditions. And our number one pick is Thailand. Thailand is a highly well-liked tourist destination because of its magnificent beaches, sparkling temples, and kind people. It is aptly referred to as the Land of Smiles. Chiang Mai and Chiang Rai are home to some of the country's most well-known temples, in contrast to Bangkok, which has a wide variety of wonderful dining and nightlife options. The wild jungle, lovely paddy fields, and remote and tranquil towns and villages are all found further out. Its golden sands and undersea wanders draw throngs of tourists each year to this area, which is located between the Andaman Sea and the Gulf of Thailand. Asia is truly full of wonders, and if you don't know where to go before, you surely do now. Which country would you like to visit first? Tell us your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on all notifications by hitting that bell icon. Looking for more travel ideas? Check out our other videos for more Travel the Globe videos like this one. Until next time, 